Apparent when you overslept for 0 0.00001 seconds. <coughs> Apparent when they overslept for one hour. <laughs> Tee -hee, oopsie whoopsie. Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lassos. Welcome to the click. I do hope you're enjoying this spring weather as we're having. You know, spring is kind of Friday evening of the yearly cycle. You have the entire summer ahead of you, but it's still kind of getting warm and nice outside. So make sure to enjoy it if you can, despite during the <laughs> lockdown. I personally open the window and lie on the floor inside. Anyway, welcome to r slash insane parents where we look at naughty parents and express our frustration online enjoy update i am immunocompromised and my mom refused to let me isolate now i have this virus it seems like you're avoiding her when she is here she did not say anything to me but it seems like it to me no she is mad at me i just don't want to get sick i have existing conditions that could get me killed if i get sick with the virus you are not going to die this is a family and when there is crisis we need to work together i had cancer and michael is a heart patient and we are going to work in helping if you ever needed it you might be overreacting. It makes me sad. The things and excuses you are coming up with to avoid us. In today's visit, you were seen by a censored name. Reasons for visit, chest pain, shortness of breath, a cough, a diagnosis, yeah, virus. <laughs> That's not, I mean, coming together as a family doesn't necessarily physically coming together if there's a pandemic going on. That's kind of counterproductive. That's literally like, <laughs> yeah, you're there for them physically, but you're not really there for them. <laughs> some people but but seriously i really do hope that you get well um i wish you the best a friend of mine who is 27 years old my mom is the type of person who will dig through the trash to harass me on what i have been eating so <laughs> smiley let it be known that i do not live under her roof and even if i did this is not okay this is beyond insane and the kid is 27 years old <laughs> So the mother just casually drops by your house, dig through a garbage outside, and rings the doorbell like, I knew I could smell a beer can. Well, this, uh, we did not raise you to drink to alcoholics. Just let your little birdie fly. During this pandemic, only people with kids should be able to watch any streaming service, and nothing for the people who are alone and single. Families need Netflix or Disney Plus more. It's annoying to see a grown single adult sharing what they are watching on Disney Plus when that streaming service was made only for kids. I have three little ones at home, and another on the way. We deserve this service over single and alones with no kids. Netflix reduces video quality in Canada to lower internet bandwidth use. That's not how it works, lady. And besides it's not gonna kill you to watch Netflix on a slightly lower resolution. What are we? What are the rest of us supposed to do when we're locked inside? <laughs> This is the kind of person, as soon as the internet is slow, to call all their neighbors to ask them to log offline just because they think everything is everybody else's fault. Hello, uh, dear neighbor, can you disconnect from the internet? I was trying to FaceTime my mom's group and it's kind of laggy, so don't use your computer! Gee, uh -huh. It is especially dumb, considering that single people that live alone really don't have much to do these days. This person has a big family to spend their time with, but they would rather spend their time being annoyed that other people don't spend two months staring into a wall. That is such a good response. I applaud you, good sir. <laughs> Mom. Wow, you are the meanest person I know. It was 2015. I did not mean to hurt you. I just needed you out of my room while you and Quinn kept hurting my feelings on Mother's Day. I am sorry you fell. I lost everything that day. My family, my career, my self-respect. I tried many times to kill myself. I wasn't successful. Don't worry. I will be next time. Just stop talking to me. It hurts too much. Mom, you abused Quinn, Reed and I for years. It was not a one-off occasion. I did not fall. I was thrown, and the fact that you would try to pin your emotional issues and suicidal tendencies on your 15-year-old daughter is the reason you don't deserve to be called mommy. As if I don't have underlying emotional problems for the childhood I had. You're a grown woman. Stop playing victim like a child. You ruined your own life. Uh, people like this typically have very lacking morals over a long period of time. It, it's very rare that someone just suddenly, you know, Oh, I just abused my kid once. It's fine. If you're willing to do it once, you're very likely to do it again. You know, the whole statistics with repeat offenders if someone's morals are not the greatest it's more likely they slip up over and over <laughs> my mom bitching at the staff me uh, trying to signal to them how <laughs> sorry i am yeah you can tell mimi it will help having someone to talk to she thinks you're lying hmm she can think what she wants that made me really sad she believes me now wow <laughs> test the positive for covid mom needed proof jesus christ 
My dad trying to explain to me how COVID-19 is caused by 5G. So if we connect the dots over here, it all makes sense. But seriously though, I, I, the thing I read about this, which is the most fascinating, is that it was like, well, if you look at the dots where COVID is most apparent, and you look at the dots where the 5G towers are the most condensed, it correlates, you know, it must be that, you know, or, or maybe it's because COVID spreads via people and the 5G towers also are placed when there are a lot of people with cell phones, so maybe, wild theory. If you made the same map with freaking Starbucks and COVID, you would find the same thing because they usually play Starbucks in cities where there are lots of customers. It's like, oh, <laughs> these people. <laughs> You know the most fascinating case about false correlation uh, that I read at some point is that if you eat more ice cream, you're more likely to get like pickpocketed. Uh, and that sounds very weird at first, but it turns out that both eating more ice cream and getting pickpocketed is correlated with traveling. So they are completely unrelated. You know, you won't get robbed more if you eat ice cream, but they both happen to correlate with something else that you do. So there you go, a little fascinating statistics trivia. And teachers, if my kid goes back to school and flinches when you lift your hand, mind your business. Ah, uh, so quirky. <laughs> So, so of course. Ugh. Yeah, I, I hope your kid leaves you when they are old enough. Oh, my kid is crying. Maybe I will yell at him more so he will stop crying. Maybe threatening him will stop his crying. Three years later. Why does my kid want to spend time with me? <laughs> I love this meme format. It's, it's so good. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you that there's a pandemic going on? What's so difficult to understand? This isn't a pandemic. People are overreacting. The president himself told the world that it's nothing more than just the flu. And you think I believe that oversized cheese? <laughs> According to the CDC, there are 24,000 to 60,000 deaths a year. We're knit even half a year in 2020, and yet more than 25,000 people are dead. We don't even have a freaking vaccines or antibodies yet, and we have more than half a million infected with this gosh darn thing. You're not a freaking child or a senior citizen to be afraid of that shoe You're in your 20s, like me. Mom, age has nothing to do with any of this. I have asthma, you know that. I'm immunocompromised. I'm literally a working target for this virus. You're not. You're perfectly healthy, my little angel. You're just riding in with this bandwagon as an excuse for you not to see us. You know what? I don't have time for this conversation right now. I have better things to do and to argue with you about this. I don't want to die, Mom. Whether you like it or not, I am not coming home as long as there are infected people in this country. And the fascinating thing is that w w w th that argument you made, lady, even if they didn't have asthma and even if they weren't worried for their own health, uh, they can still be worried about you. You are literally in the risk group. And they're like, hey, hey, fam, I'm not gonna go to your place right now. I don't want to infect my family. Oh, it's just an excuse not to see me. Like, are you are you serious? <laughs> they lit <laughs> they literally care about your health and and your state of being. <laughs> That's an excuse. <laughs> Some people's logic is is so twisted it's unreal. Your child's mental health is more important than school. And toxic parents. <laughs> Warm yourselves on the fire of logic. Ask my siblings how things are going back home. Uh, this is one of the responses. I'm sorry to backtrack, but dad deadass asked nah, what her showering routine is? Just out of nowhere? No, he was teaching us how to shower. He has a piss chart <laughs> where we record where we poo and pee. <laughs> he might as well start recording us if he really wants to see. What the heck? This is so this is so weird. He, he, Oh my god, no. Is there some reason why I didn't get invited to your graduation ceremony? If there is, can you at least tell me what it is because I don't know what I've done wrong. Well, if you want to hurt me or get back at me for something I did to sell you have a bouquet, I have done nothing but cry since I saw the pics on Facebook. Well done, you got me good. First of all, I beg you, do not reply to these messages, at least not right now. These are not points for you to counter. This is not an argument for you to win. If you reply straight away, I will not reply back. If you continue to message me about this, I will absolutely block your number. If you want any hope of relationship with me in the future, all you will do is read this and take it very seriously. I genuinely do not understand where you get the nerve to send that message to me. How dare you attempt to guilt me? It will not work. An invitation to one of the most important days of my life is a privilege and not a right. Yes, you are my mother, but that does not mean that you are entitled to be there. Privilege is earned. You have not done that. During one of my interviews to get into the academy, I was very heavily questioned about your interlock condition and drinking and my relationship with you. They were examining my physiological fitness based on your past. A past that almost jeopardized my chances of being accepted. Had I not already 
already thought of it before the interview and prepared answers. I might not even have made it into the academy, let alone graduated. Do you really think that is the reason our relationship is at the current point? Is it my fault? How can it be? I was a child, and I was terrified of you. You may not really think of it, or you can downplay it as much as you like, but the things that happened during my childhood has a profound impact on me, emotionally and psychologically. It has left my perspective of females so warped and skewed that I have a hard time even trusting women. I can hardly be open and emotionally honest with my partner of more than a year. Even after you and dad separated and I was still young, my memories of you consist of me waiting on the doorstep of our house nah, with a packed suitcase to spend the weekend at yours, and you never showed up. You didn't show up then, why would you now? I understand that Nye has rebuilt his relationship with you, and I'm happy for all of you. Maybe it's because he's a few years older, maybe because he's decided it's right for you. Whatever his decision, it's his decision. However, I'm not ready to do that yet. Not just the things that happened to us, but the way you treated dad as well, and the way that you never showed up. At one point, I simply accepted it weren't a part of my life anymore. You don't just reinsert yourself into my life with a few texts and we act as nothing ever happened. Again, I will reiterate, please do not reply to this message right now. I'm not going to discuss it with you. These are the things I feel and they will not change. If you want to see me or talk to me or have a role in my life, just read this and consider it. I beg you, reflect upon the actions and decisions that have brought us to this point and take some responsibility for them. I understand that your addiction was a disease, but that is not an excuse. You've sent a lot of messages to me recently, but not none of them has ever said sorry. That is a theme I have seen a lot with parents that get very abusive over the years. They never say sorry. They think that the fact that they brought you into this world is like their grand gift to you and that it can be as abusive as possible. That's one of the most toxic mindsets you can ever have. If someone didn't ask to be born, they don't owe you for it. And the fact remains that you pass favors down generations, not upwards. You do your kids the favor of bringing them up so they can have the chance to do their kids their favor to bring them up. You can't expect that kind of stuff back from them because their attention is focused downwards in the generational line, not upwards. Of course, if a family works, you should still take care of, you know, your parents when they grow old, of course, but that's a different story. Um, when a purity comes to quote-unquote paying back for your childhood, no, it's not a thing. They will probably have children of their own. Stop! <laughs> The use of Karen is not racist and simply implies you're obnoxious. Middle-aged white women. Oh, I have seen that trend. It's so ridiculous. The best response I saw to this was like, Oh, the Karen word is just as bad as the N-word nowadays. And the only reply was, Well, you know, type out the N-word then. <laughs> Checkmate. Guys, two doctors are in my room right now and just gave me a 40-page document on the importance of Vit K and why I needed to give it to my baby. Now they are listening to her heart and saying she might have an issue that requires it. We have been firm on not getting it. I also think they're lying because one doctor said baby sounds fine and the other was dead set that it was a problem. Dad threw the first packet they gave him in the trash when I was in recovery. Way to go, Dad! And made sure baby was always with him if he wasn't with me. They've been trying to find little reasons to get baby alone but we declined them all. About to get discharge soon hopefully but just needing reassurance that a uh, free baby is fine and we aren't failing her lots of emotional emojis oh my god you do not know more than a doctor that's just you know it's good to do your own research it's good to be skeptical about the word don't blindly accept things of course but when it comes to experts in a field they probably know more from medical school and working in the profession than your mom facebook groups and like <laughs> i don't know flat earth conspiracy groups it's it's kind of <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Check your sources, people, for God's sake. And this is also one thing that I don't like about the internet. The internet is wonderful, and I work on the internet. But one thing that I really don't like is that the way that the algorithms are designed is that if you view something, the algorithms will always show you similar things to what you already watched. Which most of the time is good, you know, you get suggested content that you already watch. For example, you like Reddit videos, well, here's another Reddit video, perfect. But if you watch, for example, conspiracy theories, or things that are very political, or anything that is based on some kind of assumption about the world, if you watch one Flat Earth video, well, you get shown the next one, and the next one. And the next one, it kind of, the algorithm helps us dig this confirmation bias rabbit hole. And I really don't like that. It's almost like, you know, you should have several YouTube accounts just to make sure you don't get <laughs> just funnel down into one small hole. <laughs> My whole page is like retro video games and ASMR. <laughs> and sad milk. My mom. Me, who has made a reasonable point in argument. Aren't we forgetting one teensy weensy but ever so crucial little tiny detail? I own you. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the slavery was cool a long time ago. Okay, but it's not even okay. Boomer, it's kind of, I don't know what that. Does anyone here believe the Earth is flat? Do you teach your kid the science of a flat Earth? I don't homeschool, but I really don't like the school system and all the brainwashing BS they teach. What is the process of taking your kids out of school? Does child services get involved? My daughter is in kindergarten and I'm really fighting with myself about school. I just don't know how to homeschool. I don't know what to do, sad. If you think the Earth is flat, please, please, please send your children to public school. You should sit through some of their classes too, specifically science classes. The thing I have never understood about Flat Earth, uh, I, I mean, it's a cult. You know, if you watch the documentaries and stuff about it, where they actually go and interview people, it is very much a cult, like it hits all the boxes. So why it's a movement thing is very understandable with that aspect. But what I don't understand about the reasoning behind the conspiracy itself, what's the point? Like, what's the what's the end goal? Like, if you want to go into detail, you know, 9-11 conspiracies, like, okay, well, they wanted an excuse to, you know, go go fight for oil and stuff. Like, okay, unlikely, but there is a motive. A moon landing, yeah, it was a race with the Soviet Union, and which eventually which eventually led to, led to a lot of costs, which could have been motivated, you know, with the competition of the superpowers back then. It's like, okay, there is kind of a motive. Still unlikely, very unlikely, but there is a motive. With Flat Earth, there isn't even a motive. <laughs> it's like the worst conspiracy ever. <laughs> All right, moving on. My girlfriend cooking dinner, washing all the dishes, babysitting for hours, but forgetting to fold one blanket on the couch. Her stepdad taking away her tech for the whole next day. <laughs> Oh, what the? Uh, take a chill pill, people. It's mine. It's empty, and I'm holding it away from him. That's not. That's not the point. That is not bad. Give give your children more nurturing things to play with. A and besides, what if he finds it in a situation where, where it happens to not be unloaded and you're not around? Don't teach him to play with these things. It can end really badly. Guns can be fined responsibly. I've done sharpshooting and stuff myself, but but it's usually with you know a lot of licenses and a lot of control and with very mature people. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. Jeff, when you return for the rest of your belongings, bring Monkey back. He belongs here. Dad. Yeah, that's not happening. He's not going back after Katie dumped rubbing alcohol down his ear canal when he had an ear and mouth infection. When he should have just been taken to the vet in the first place. What did you say the vet said? Oh yeah, he's partially blind in his left eye because of it. I'll be back for the rest and I'll never be a problem for you again. You need to call before you come here in the future. Either mom or I must be here or you will have no access to her home. Dad, gotta get your power fix somehow, huh? <laughs> that is kind of desperate. Oh my god. <laughs> This is, I, I'm, I'm just gonna go on a limb here and say that mom is probably anti-vax and flat earth and you know, that kind of stuff as well. It, uh, all this stuff kind of correlates, sadly. Uh, it's, oh. I just yelled at my son, he's crying. I should yell at him to stop. I'm such a good dad. Double down, yeah. Chilling with depression. Adults. Be happy, enjoy life. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm depressed, what should I do? I get good. Ah, oh, thanks. Cheers. Don't be sad. Ugh. Global deaths. It's a virus. Mothers doing childbirth. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You need to reevaluate your judgment to not post things about me being pregnant on my Facebook. Why the frick do you think that is appropriate to send what's wrong about mothers dying in childbirth? You should be ashamed of yourself. Rethink your actions. You are removed from my Facebook and social media until you apologize. Shame on you. My mother decided to post this on my social media with a note, you should be more concerned about number two. I haven't told anyone I'm pregnant yet and she has been encouraging me to expose myself for her immunity to make myself and my baby stronger. Sorry about text typos, I was very angry. Herd immunity is something we develop over time. If everybody followed that logic, a lot of people would die because all the hospitals would be overloaded and all our inter infrastructure and stuff would collapse. Like if everybody got sick at the same time, who do you think would deliver food or produce anything or even work in the hospitals? How, 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 can, how can you be this ignorance? <laughs> oh. At first, I actually thought this post was about the mother posting and see, I took a greater risk giving birth to you than, than you're overhyping this pandemic. But but this is almost worse because you're insulting their life choices too. Yeesh. I'm finding things pretty hard because I'm so depressed and anxious. Maybe I'll talk to my parents about my struggles with my mental health. You're making up for attention excuses, you're just lazy. <laughs> Never again. Mothership. I know that you left on a plane. Thank you for abandoning us. Remember your father ran away. I never did. I never want to see Jada again for taking you to that airport. Tell your therapist I said she should quit her job and go F herself. Herself, herself, either one works for me. Oh, him, herself, herself. Oh, he, he, he her, no, okay. It's just him, himself or herself, I guess, but. <laughs> herself or herself. <laughs> her elf. <laughs> 
At least you don't have to pretend that you love us anymore so that you take a lot of pressure off of you. My mom kicked me out during a pandemic, so I packed up and flew to the other side of the country. Yeah, seems about the right thing to do. <laughs> Could my son be in a bad mood because I woke him up and yelled at him? No, it must be those damn video games I hear so much about. <laughs> My eight-year-old hasn't been in school in a year and a half. He despises it and honestly thinks he's above it. His words. Well, today in the car, he started talking to me about the world and how he thinks that half of the world is dark while the other is light. I said, that's absolutely correct. How did you know that? He said, he just guessed, lol. I smiled at him and said, yeah, you know, they just teach that in school, lol. Do you want me to teach you more about the Earth's rotation and revolution? And he beamed and said, yes. Lol, this boy hates anything, typical learning-wise. Needless to say, he is a proud unschooler and I'm also proud of him. I teach my child that water doesn't curve and all he finds it level. Okay, um, it's not that revolutionary. It's like, if you assume that, you know, time zones is a thing, uh, and, you know, it's night sometimes, <laughs> that's pretty much the... <laughs> it's not... <laughs> it's not an Einstein conclusion, lady. Take your child to school. <laughs> Day a lot of quarantine. I did not stop my toddler from eating this tortilla from dinner last night out of the trash. What does this have to do with quarantine? This is just trashy. See what I did there? It's kind of a pun because they ate a lot of trash, but it's also trash. <laughs> Dad jokes. Hey, my symptoms are getting worse. I could really use some help. I'm severely suicidal. I said I'm I said I'm fine. You don't care anyway. You better watch your mouth. Dad, I don't know if it's a good idea to go to ER right now. Mom said she doesn't want me to go to ER. Your mom is freaking stupid if you can't come here to help your dad and freak up. Dad, she works in the hospital. I think she would know. Just don't bother calling me or coming around anymore. I'm done with you and your mom. It doesn't matter if she knows or not. She's an ignorant. Yeah, daddy needs help, and this is what you give me. No wonder why I don't want to see you. You just fly off the handle for no reason. If you want to cut me out of your life because I don't want to go to the ER during a global pandemic, that's on you. And for context, I do believe he had like a smaller burn from like the kitchen or something like that. <laughs> totally worth going and risking getting sick for <laughs> and taking attention away from doctors that need to be saving lives. I will tease my children when they open up to me about anything. I will talk openly about their insecurities when with family and friends. I hope this won't negatively affect our future relationship. Why do they never want to talk to me or express anything about their personal life? Oh, I don't know why. Parents, we're not forcing you to participate in our religious stuff. Me doesn't participate in their religious stuff. Parents, no, this isn't how you're supposed to play the game. <laughs> oh, my kids wants to play with me? And beat the shit of him until he starts crying because he's annoying. And beat the shit of him because he's crying. Wonder why he doesn't want to tell you any of his problems when he's a teen. Yeah, wow. Well, uh... <laughs> get a school counselor so I can get help with my developing anxiety and depression without parents finding out. Confined in my counselor about my lack of motivation and suicidal thoughts. Counselor notifies parents, who scold me for being impulsive, selfish, attention-seeking, and deceitful in making an error of judgment. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Take your child seriously, especially if they come with stuff like this. I mean, uh, you can usually tell over time if people are just being manipulative. Some children are manipulative, but you can usually tell kind of easy if you know anything about humans, if it's honest or not. Uh, so just at least listen to them. That's like the first step. Without listening to them, you can't figure out if they're lying or not. Um, that's actually the least you can do. Especially since the state literally issued a stay-at-home order. <laughs> Lol, sadly it's not how a virus disappears. Social isolation? It's stupid. I finished your sentence. I love you, my child. <sighs> Me having genuine problems and my therapist wanting to discuss those problems with my parents. My parents. The nurse that's a place of the mental illness is fake, right? <laughs> and the earth is also flat. How can it be? Where, where's your Where's your backing for that? That's kind of a serious statement and very belittling. Don't do this. Oh. Mother is feeling determined. There ought to be a law that punishes. Oh no, there's like an emoji pasta crammed in here. <sighs> all right, all right. There ought to be a law that punishes children who mentally and emotionally abuse their parents on a daily with a lack of respect and disobedience. That's not abuse. That's just being a rascal. <laughs> There's one if their parents abuse them. Yeah, abuse. Not if they're a rascal. Not if they're like a slightly disab- Eat your vegetables, Timmy. Oh, that's abuse. You, no, now I should be able to- Now I should be allowed to punish you because that, that's- Yeah, that law is totally on the same level. I feel turn about this fair play. Next little monsters will be thinking it's okay to put hands on me. That's where one of us will be getting in an ambulance, clinging to life, while I'm on my way to prison, looking at attempted murder charges. What kind of household do you run? Jesus Christ. 
If you have tendencies that you want to actually harm your children, here's the thing, children can be very annoying. I've seen it myself. I have younger family all around the place. Yes, younger family members can be very annoying. Family members can be annoying, period. But if you come to the point that you're willing to send them to hospital for it, there is something seriously wrong, especially if they're small children. You shouldn't have that. A grown-up shouldn't have that kind of reaction to their own child. Something is seriously wrong. A great day to see what's in my email. Can't wait. Give me your freaking email password. Give it to me a freaking asshole. Who's this? <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear god. My Catholic mom knows I'm a grown-up and I have a boyfriend. So logically, I have to live away from him or have someone naughty block us 24-7. I mean, I don't want to be away from him. I have wondered if you were going to ask about staying in here somehow. I don't know how to do that unless you have a chaperone or a separate residence. I will ponder this. Remember, I'm 21, I'm a woman. I remember. I have to sit down to dinner now. I'm thinking hard, so give me some time. Yeah, with that kind of brain capacity, it will take some time. Jesus, don't, don't, don't stay up, don't stay up late waiting. The sun. Shocking. The <laughs> Saying shocking as the first word in a title is like the boomer, very crappy way of clickbaiting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> shocking. Stoner dad left baby girl to die in sweltering hot car, then drove off without realizing she was dead in the back seat. That is so dark. I, I kind of backtrack on this, like every second video I make on this topic, but there really should be a license on, on having children. <laughs> Practically speaking, I'm aware it would be very difficult to enforce and like you come to a whole different things about like, you know, accidental pregnancies and that kind of stuff. But practically speaking, it probably wouldn't work, at least not in the world right now, but it's kind of, you know, interesting food for thought. In the, in, in the future, we probably should have license for having kids. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> a tweet. Hey, cool cats. My mom found my pics of OCs and lesbian art, and guess what? She told me it's bringing demons into the house and made me delete it all. I told her I express myself through my lesbian art, and she told me that I can't do that to my face. I kind of want to scream right now. I want to continue working on my project, but right now I'm just scared. She also threatened to cut off contact with the internet, too. <laughs> Oh my god, you draw stuff and brings demons into our household because they're totally real because you're not allowed to love who you want to love. You're my daughter and a daughter of God. I will... Oh. Oh. Ugh. It's not just my stepsister wants to go to uni at the same time. I want a life too. You are earning good money. It's easy for you to tell me what to do of my money. I'm not earning good money and I didn't even tell you what to do with your money. She's my wife. Who are you to tell me what to do? Put your money where your mouth is and help your stepsister. I paid everything for your education, so you should help your stepsister. She is not my child or my responsibility. She's your responsibility. I will remember that when I change my will. All right. <laughs> You chose to get remarried. You chose to take responsibility for more kids. You can't guilt trip your previous children for that. That is on you, good sir. They have to, you know, live their own life, save up, and eventually probably pay for their own children. That's how it works. You kind of, you know, funnel downwards in generations. You know, your parents paid for your education, so you can so you can pay for your kids' education, so they can pay for that's that's the direction of flow for this kind of thing. <laughs> Well, at least if you're American, I got my Unity Gear for free. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like such an asshole for saying that. <laughs> <clears throat> Although, to be fair, my taxes are higher, so there you go. Well, ladies, lasses, and lassos, I do hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something. I don't know, but maybe. <laughs> Down below, you find links to my Discord, my Patreon, all those wonderful socials. I do hope you have an amazing day, night time, or whatever time as you live, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.